Hello, in this video I will show you how you can use user-defined functions in PineScript. A concept of uh, user-defined function is very useful in programming. Main idea is that you can take a piece of your useful code, wrap this as a function, and then call this function a few times in your program and receive a value of the code execution without actually writing the code again. So here I have a few examples of uh, user-defined function in PineScript. Here is the simplest example, so-called single-end function. Here you can see this is a function uh, name, then uh, function parameters in a bracket separated by a comma, then equal sign and greater sign, and this is the function so-called body. Here in the single line function, uh, function body is only one statement, and this statement is results of a function run. So here you can see this is a function call. You just put your function name and then parameters you want your uh, function to be executed for. And after that, you just get this uh, value for this function. But usually one statement is not enough for you and you want more complex functions. For this, you can use multi-line function. Um, Syntax is similar, but what is different is that uh, after this equal greater sign, you have new line, and next you can see here function body consists of uh, several statements, and every kind of statement line um, has an indent, and this indent is a tabulation or four spaces. And inside the, inside the function, you can uh, create new variables, um, and these variables will uh, be in local scope, not global, global scope. You can uh, access them only uh, in, inside the function. Also, you can use a built-in function. You can use um, a, an, another user-defined functions there as well. Unfortunately, uh, you cannot call function itself. In other words, you cannot create recursion in PineScript. So, and uh, here you can see a set of statements when you calculate variables you, need, you want to output. And the last statement um, uh, function uh, takes as a result of its execution. So here, for example, I have uh, MACD indicator implementation as a function, and uh, as a result, I output delta. Call for this kind of functions are the same as for uh, uh, singlet functions. Uh, another interesting thing is that in PineScript you can output um, multiple um, variables as well. So, for example, I have the same MACD function, MACD indicator, but I want to output uh, not only delta but um, all three parameters, all three variables. So I just uh, should. Um, put them into square bracket and separate by comma. And the same syntax you should uh, use when you call the function. You just uh, list your variables in the square brackets, separated by comma, and then assign to them results of your function call. And the last thing I want to mention about functions is that you can use uh, functions to get um, function value for different symbol and different uh, period as well. So you, you, all, you, all you need to do is just pass function call into security, uh, set your peri period and uh, symbol, and you will receive um, the value for that. Uh, this is important because in version 3 of PineScript, uh, it is deprecated to use mutable variables, and this is the only way you can uh, use to, uh, to execute custom code on different symbol and period. Yeah, I think that's all for um, user-defined function in PineScript. Thank you for watching. Bye.